I'd like to take a second and compare and contrast two different branches that you'll find in most fruit trees. Uh, especially apples are probably the easiest one to identify these branches in. Uh, the first is what is called a water sprout. Now, all branches consist of nodes and inner nodes. You can see on this water sprout here that we have a bud followed by a space, another bud, space, and there's a bud on the back end of this. The, the nodes and the inner nodes are spread out. This entire branch from the bottom to the to the terminal bud here grew in one season. This is an example of a water sprout. They're fast growing branches that come straight up out of the tree. The nodes and the inner nodes are spaced far apart. It's usually a smooth, uh, lighter, brighter color. But this particular branch in fruit trees should be removed in most cases, unless you're trying to fill in an open spot in the tree uh, maybe where a branch had died back and you have a, a gap in the tree and you want to start filling that up, you can leave a few of these water sprouts. But for the most case, for the most part, you want to remove every water sprout when you're pruning. So uh, another branch is that's important to, um, to be able to identify is what's called a spur. And so these branches, if you look, are a little bit different. They're, they're rough. The nodes and the inner nodes are very close together, giving it a, a real distinct texture that's different from the water sprouts. Um, each one of these is a terminal bud scar the, where the leaf and the bud scars used to be, and these grow really slow. This is where the majority of the fruit will occur, is on these spurs. So it's important to make sure that you leave these intact um, protect them because they're they're much stronger than other branches they usually come off of old large wood and and because they're kind of short and stubby they can support a lot of fruit so it's important to make sure that water sprouts are removed spurs remain these are two types of branches that you'll find in most every fruit tree um, more easily identified in apples and pears, but um, make sure that when you're pruning your trees that you remove the water sprouts and you protect the spurs.